guys, I hope you're all doing really well. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a well overdue homeware dupes video. Today I am not just focusing on the white company, I also have a few other dupes for places like Cox and Cox, Neptune, Zara Home, H&M Home, La Cruze, Firm Living. We've got a whole mixture of things today. I am going to be sharing more of these sort of things over on my TikTok for short, snappier videos if you prefer that. If you prefer coming here to my YouTube to watch these sort of videos, then I would love it if you would stick around and subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up so that I will keep them coming. So I am going to start with all of the white company dupes that I've compiled. So there's probably quite a few new in bits coming in into spring and summer that I'm probably going to do more dupe videos of coming soon but for now I have a few bits to share with you starting with something that you have probably seen in a haul a while back actually I got this let me just put my coffee down so if you are a regular here on my YouTube channel you may notice some of these things within today's video that you may have seen in other haul videos but this is the first thing that I was going to share with you, it's a jute doorstop. This was $5.99 from Home Bargains and the white company have just brought out a, not quite the same with the crisscross hatch effect. I think they used to have one like this, but they've brought out a new style, which is £30. So for a fraction of the price, Home Bargains do them. They also do them in grey, if that is your kind of home interior. Next up, I have this from Aldi, which is a concrete base lamp, they call it. This is a dupe for the White Company one, which they have, which is a very similar. I've not actually got this one out of the box yet. And although grey isn't usually in my kind of home interior decor. I do actually love the finish of this grey. It's a really light wash. So let me just get it out and I'll share with you what it looks like. Okay, this is what it looks like. I'm honestly so impressed with the quality of it. Like I said, the the finish of the concrete, it's not like a real dark charcoal grey. So for me personally, I really think it will tie in with the warmer tones within my house. So I think I've grabbed an absolute bargain here. You can always switch out the light shade as well if you wanted a different shape. Um, you can pick lampshades up fairly affordable. I hope you guys can see the texture up close. It's a real, obviously, concrete effect with lots of kind of irregularities and texture within there, which I love. And that was $29.99. And the one that's very similar on the white company is £195. I've also spotted another one online, which I'll insert images of because I don't have it in person. But we have a lampshade in our kind of ceiling pendant light in our bedroom, which I might switch out now that I've spotted this bargain from M&S, which is duping the massive big square white company lampshades, like ceiling pendant shades, which depending on the size, on the white company are either £250 or £325 and on M&S you can get the small one for £29.50 and the large one for £49.50 which I think is an absolute steal and what I love about it, especially the bigger one it is all predominantly black there's one in next that I nearly picked up but there's quite a lot of kind of gun metal silver on it hence why I didn't go for it. Whilst we're on the topic of lamps and lights, I also spotted one on Argos, which is very similar to the one on the White Company, the kind of triangular shaped glass light, which on the White Company is 95 pounds, and on Argos it's 30 pounds, which it's also got like a fluted design, which I think is beautiful. And if you wanna buy it with the shade, I think it's 42 pounds. But again, you can pick up a shade from wherever to um, pick and choose which shade you want to fit that lamp. It's more the glass triangular base that I really love of that Argos one. Again, another lamp that I've spotted and also one that I'm very tempted to pick up myself is one from Dunelm at £30, which is duping the one on the White Company, which has a very tall, narrow, thin kind of stand with a small linen lampshade in like a beige colour. So the back, black and beige really works in my home and then lastly another two items from the white company that i spotted dupes online for is firstly a marble tray which is very signature for the white company to display whether you want your bathroom products in there whether you want to use it in the kitchen for displaying like cheese board crackers and things this isn't the biggest saving but i have spotted one very similar so a great dupe on h&m home it's 24.99 and yet again another thing that i'm tempted to purchase let me know 
know in the comments below if you think I should are the seagrass stools again that on the white company come in around 145 pounds I found an online shop it was actually through a recommendation to um, shop a Instagram shop that I found called refound objects where they sell a whole load of different things but they have a specific section on the website that I spotted called if you type in stool on the search bar you'll be able to see them they're like Moroccan lemongrass I think they call them stools which look very similar to the seagrass ones and they start from 15 pounds so mega bargain depending on the size that you want there you may have spotted aldi also do the white company dupes for the botanical candles that the white company do so they range in price i think depending on the size i think they're about 20 pounds but the aldi ones are 3.99 and they have seashells which has lots of shells in and they also have winter spice which i picked up because i just think i'll prefer this uh, scent, which is orange, cinnamon, and clove. I'm kind of surprised they haven't reduced these yet. Yeah, maybe they will, I don't know. But um, they also have a flora one, something flowers, so, or something petals, I think it's called. But this is clearly duping the winter scent from the White Company. And I do actually have a little botanical tray from the White Company that I could pop this on. But if you don't, you could, again, just pick up a little um, like tiny mini side plate from Wilco's or Dunelm. They do some really nice stone crockery, which I actually have from, I've got one from Wilco's, but I prefer the Dunelm ones that you can again, just sit this on. Aldi also do the little mini baubles. Again, this is kind of like, it reminds me of the Christmas stock, although I don't think this is going anywhere. They weren't on sale or anything and they um, have the different scents. I again opted for the winter scent, which is cinnamon, clove and orange. And this, this is a little shower gel in the, again, the little bauble size. Again, another couple of online spots that I have found, but this time for Neptune. So if we move on from the White Company to Neptune. Now, Neptune, if you've not heard of it, it is an amazing homeware store. I know they're not all over the UK. We've got one not too far from us in a place called Nutsford. They're like a standalone store that you can go and they're kind of displayed as like a show home. They have some beautiful pieces, especially bigger furniture items. They sell round kind of beveled mirrors in different sizes and colors. And they are from about 150 pounds, depending on the size and the color that you want. And I've seen that in the range, they do some very similar and Dunelm actually. Dunelm have a black one at 30 pounds, which I love. And the range also sell them and they are in like a washed gray. Speaking of the range, they also have another dupe for something on Neptune that I have my eyes peeled on and it's like a wooden stool with like a crisscross bottom and I love the look of it. I love the kind of washed light wood. It's called the Alex stool on Neptune at £400 lovely though it's beautiful but the range do one very very similar for 49.99 and then moving on to another brand which i love cox and cox again have beautiful homeware pieces they have yet again another lamp that i've had my eyes on it's kind of like a ceramic finish in like a beautiful stone color and it's 125 pounds which i think is reasonable for for cox and cox anyway but Wilco's have one for £50, which for Wilco's is kind of pricey, but it literally looks exactly the same. So for me, that's when it when they're that similar, I feel like how I, I can't justify the more expensive one when they're so similar. They also have a range of cutlery on Cox and Cox, which is very similar to the one that I have myself from BM. So I thought I would share it with you. I've just picked up a spoon from in the kitchen, but You'll see from the image that the Cots and Cots one is very similar in that it is half black, half gold. The dishwasher safe, they're really good quality. I mean, we've had these for a while. There's no signs of tarnishing or the paint peeling off or anything. And these are £12 for the set. And on Cots and Cots, they are £145. Something that Dunelm sold ages ago was a glass carafe that is fluted, very much like the Firm Living one. They seem to just be so rare i never found one i always checked in my local stores and they've taken them offline now so they must have just stopped producing them maybe they were too close to the firm living ones but matalan have come out with one that is a very similar again in shape it's identical but it is more of a gray tinge to it so if you like that kind of darker glass 
like a smoked kind of effect. Then the Matalan one is eight pounds. The Firm Living one is 29 pounds in comparison. And in terms of the actual highball glasses, I do have some and I've shown them previously in a B&M haul and they are just the same. They're only two pounds each. So who knows, maybe B&M might come out with a craft to match because I think that would be amazing and it's so easy to dupe as well. Okay, moving on to Zara Home. Now Zara Home is a brand that I am obsessed with for my house. I have quite a few pieces from there. However, they are kind of expensive, especially when you compare it to the Zara fashion price points. I do feel like the homeware is just that a little bit more premium. So I am often on the hunt for things that are looking like they would fit very much so in the Zara Home store. Um, Primark Home, especially the bigger stores like City Centre in Manchester, they are massively duping the Zara Home bits. They have some amazing finds, especially this one, which I picked up recently at five pounds. It is a cookie jar with the acacia wood top. Now Zara Home have so many products with this acacia wood finish. It's like a dark, real cool, ashy toned rather than a real orangey toned wood, which I love. I just think it's far more neutral and aesthetically pleasing. Count how many times I say aesthetically pleasing in my videos. I love the fact that this cookie jar, you can sit on its base or on the side, which I personally have it sat out like this in our kitchen. I just have some yummy treats in here, some Ferrero Rochers left over from Christmas. I've just taken them out for the purpose of this video, but yeah, five pounds for this. They also have in Aldi, which again, I've shown in a haul before, these jars, which are very close to the duping of the Zara Home ones. They actually have the same shape to lid and everything. The Aldi ones do actually come with the uh, little labels as well, these paper, labels in the brown craft oops i've just dropped one that you can stick them on the jar and label them up these are now all reduced in aldi to i think they're about 3.99 each and they've got different sizes and considering they are now reduced i did also pick up the acacia spice jars when they were full price i think it was 6.99 i was a bit like oh should i shouldn't i and when i see a bargain and when i see that there is a saving to be had i just can't resist and i do love them even the way they've marketed it and photographed these products They've made it look just like Zara Home. So they do have a spice rack, a spice jar set on Zara Home, which is similar. It's not quite the same, but it's $25.99. And the jars like this are around about the £19.99 mark on Zara Home. They also sell these uh, wooden spoons, acacia wood wooden spoons in Aldi. And I also picked up these salad servers from as done not too long ago, four pounds for this set. So you can pick up, so if you keep your eyes put for the acacia wood rather than the kind of orangey yellow wood, then I do think they look really nice and sat out in a kind of utensils pot in the kitchen. There's no way you'd know that these weren't Zara Home because they've got loads of utensils with the acacia wood on their website too. So Zara Home have a whole load of cleaning products as well, like all-purpose cleaners. They have the refillable glass bottles in the kind of amber glass. And so they're empty. They're just refill bottles at $11.99 each. And I thought I would share the Dunelm range that are priced at around £3 and obviously they're full of product too. So I don't know if you'll be able to see with the light on this but this is an amber um kind of finish it's not glass though it is plastic but the way that they brand them all up every product is numbered this one is the number one which is the antibacterial general purpose cleaner i've got a hob cleaner kitchen cleaner bathroom cleaner a um glass cleaner all sorts and or oh, mattress refresher they've got everything so it's quite nice to if you want to have the look of a nice looking cupboard to buy kind of the whole range from Dunelm at three pounds each not only are they refillable but they actually have the product in as well the Zara Home products I do actually have a multi-service cleaner from Zara Home in bergamot ginger and lemon so just kind of a comparison on size as well you do actually get more product in the Dunelm ones this is glass though so it does feel lovely and it's just something about a little luxury cleaning product that I don't know, gets you in the mood to clean all the more. So if you're someone who struggles with the motivation to clean, then maybe treat yourself to some luxury cleaning products. Anyway, moving on. Oh, I also have this actually, which I thought I might as well share with you again. It's kind of like the amber finish, but in a plastic bottle. This is from Asda and it's the number one invigorate white mint and eucalyptus scented room spray. Again, just kind of gives that aesthetic of a Zara home product. 
at a fraction of the price. An online spot now at £299.99. Zara Home have these beautiful wooden rattan chairs which look gorgeous but now that Primark Home are upping the game they are also doing more bigger furniture items of which they have a chair a rattan chair on their website well i've seen it listed on their website but obviously they're in stores and it's priced at 90 pounds so again for primark that is premium but it's still a mega saving on the 300 pounds from the zara home one and then one that i'm absolutely gutted that i've seen on primark is one of the irregular shaped mirrors the reason why I say I'm gutted is because I invested in the Zara Home one for in my bathroom, which is beautiful. I love it. But it was $89.99. They have a larger version as well at $159.99. The Primark Home one is only £18, which is just like, ugh knowing that I missed out on that. But I will keep my eyes peeled for it in stores. And if I do see the Primark Home one, I have another spot in mind for where I could fill it with one of those irregular shaped mirrors. So my eyes are peeled for that one. Apologies if my camera angle's changed at all. I've just had to recharge my battery. It's also given me a chance for a coffee pit stop. Okay, sticking with Primark finds, duping the Zara Home, because I mean, they are just full of Zara Home dupes. I spotted these volcanic ash little stones that you can pop some essential oils on to make them smell lovely and fill a room with a nice smell. I love a good home fragrance product. And I had my eyes on the Zara Home ones for so long. I put it in and out of my basket for so many times. And they do constantly go in and out of stock as well. They are priced at $39.99. So the actual set from Primark comes with the little oil, which is still in its thing. These are five pounds from Primark. A section I love to shop on Zara Home is the wardrobe, essentially, walk-in wardrobe section where they have loads of linen storage type compartments and dress covers for inside your wardrobe to make it look lovely and neat and organized. They also have some little tubs which look very similar to this one that I have. I actually keep all of Barney's leads and um, harnesses and everything in here. <laughs> look at this harness. We all know he's friendly, but when he runs up to people on a walk, I just want them to know that as well. These, which I love, again, they are very similar to things that are on Zara Home. If I just show you the texture close up so you can see what the material is for all of these products. It's kind of like that linen canvasy material. This one is a draw divide. It does actually have all, I think it has nine compartments. You just kind of have to pop them out into place like so and zip it up shut at the back they're honestly so similar and these are four pounds around about four pounds each in primark versus about 15.99 on zara home so we all know i'm a fan of le creuset especially from tk maxx they seem to have all of the le creuset bits whenever i spot black or white i'm always keeping my eyes peeled for that but a great place for Le Creuset dupes is Aldi. With it being the sort of Valentine's period, they've brought out the heart-shaped ramekins duping these ones, which I already have from Le Creuset. These are about £20 each. Or of course Aldi, where they do a set for £12.99 for two, and they've got a little gold lid as well, perfect for making little mini desserts or starters in if you're having a little date night, especially for Valentine's, but we keep them out all year round. So Aldi also dupe the uh, Le Creuset mugs and ramekins as well, and utensils pot. I think these are £3.99 each. But obviously this is $3.99 for a set of two mugs. So that in itself is a bargain. And this is duping the meringue color, which is a kind of ombre effect from a, a beige into a cream. They also have the gray ombre ones as well. Another Le Creuset dupe that I have found are for the salt and pepper mills that they do. I have the large white ones from Le Creuset. And these are so similar. They're from the Pep & Co range, Poundland. They are five pounds. I know, from Poundland. Um, we all know that Poundland is no longer just a pound for things. So these are five pounds for the set, but they are identical, even to the point where the S and the P written on the top there is pretty much the same font, same look, same size as the Le Creuset ones. They feel a little bit lighter. I think they're plastic versus the Le Creuset ones, which are wooden. But if you're just doing it for the look, they're very similar. 
These ones kind of dupe the smaller sized uh, salt and pepper mills from Le Creuset, which would be about 50 pounds for this set, for the two. The larger ones that I have, I think they're about 32 pounds each from Le Creuset. Uh, so yeah, I mean, get yourselves down to Poundland because these are a steal. Another Poundland find that I picked up from their kind of eco bamboo range is this body brush with the bristles and the little canvas handle. Kid you not, it's identical to the one on H&M Home that they have. Now this is Poundland, but it wasn't a pound. I think these are two pounds or three pounds. The ones on H&M are $8.99, but it is identical. So Poundland first if you're after this. And then I've just got a load of other random bits in here that I wanted to mention. I think they're all from Aldi apart from this, which was Poundland. It is a rattan photo frame with the black inner and outer. It's similar to one I have from Zara Home, but this isn't like an exact dupe for a specific brand. Any kind of similar, I'll leave linked so that you can see a price comparison. Did I say Poundland? Home Bargains. This is from Home Bargains. This was literally £2.49. Okay, the rest of the items are from Aldi, so I'm going to whiz through these. And these are something that I've featured before and mentioned about. And I just wanted to mention them again because they are now back in stock. They are such a good find and a great kind of DIY to have the white company look. So these are a two pack of clear storage jars. That's what they look like. They've got the lids on top. Let me go grab from my bathroom the one that I have to show you what I've done with them. They are $6.99 for the set of two of these. So this is the one that I have in my bathroom. And as you can see there, I've popped a sticker on the side, the white company sticker, which you can pick these up well, they're free. They're part of the gift wrap option either online if you opt for the gift wrap and you can tick kind of, I wrap it myself so that you can maybe add some more bits to the gift wrap. Um, I always opt for that even if I'm buying for myself because I feel like you get a lovely gift box then and you also get the stickers, the tissue paper and everything. So um, that's where I use the stickers. You can go into the store and ask for them as well. But yeah, they're just part of the gift wrap option. So either online, you pay five pounds for that or in stores, you can just ask for some stickers i'm sure they give you some for free anyway and just pop them on those at glass jars and they do also dupe the joe malone scents this one's the lime basil and mandarin dupe and they are wax melts first time i've seen wax melts from the hotel collection from aldi and then again i showed this in a aldi haul recently but duping the christmasy joe malone scents as well they've got pine and eucalyptus bitter orange sweet almond and macaroon lovely gift set these were in the sale for five pounds so Keep your eyes peeled if you want those because I'm sure they will go very, very quick. At £2.49, I've spotted a dupe for a Neil's Yard product. This is from Aldi. It's in the glass bottle, so it feels really luxe. And it's in the exact same scent as the uh, Neil's Yard one. So the Neil's Yard hand wash and hand, uh, um, not soap, hand cream, they retail for about £12 each. So £2.49 each. I just picked up the hand wash on this occasion. It's got organic orange oil. The scent is garden mint and bergamot. Again, no even switching around of the words there. It's the exact same scent as the Neil's Yard scent. And I do love Neil's Yard products. I've seen this on TikTok, so I was so happy to see them in my store. They actually had loads of them. $5.99 in vanilla honey, golden bath nectar with sweet almond oil, pro vitamin B5 and honey. These are duping the uh, Le... Laura Mercier, I forgot the name then. I was gonna say Le Creuset. <laughs> Laura Mercier uh, bath soaks that they do, which looks very similar. It even comes with the little pot, which again looks identical and the little kind of honey scoop type thing that goes with it you could sit these on your bath tray and have them looking nice and pretty on display i'm going to end on my favorite dupe of them all and it's a, a dupe for hotel chocolat the ultimate luxury chocolatey treat i love hotel chocolat chocolates and I've seen these in Aldi. They've also done the, what do they call them from Hotel Chocolat? The bars, like the little tablet things that they do. I can't remember the name of them. Batons, batons. I've seen them, but with it being Easter, they also had these, so I thought I'd pick them up. They had a vegan dark as well. And I got the Belgian milk chocolate, Office Bunnies they're called. 
and the Belgian Blonde, which I know are going to be my favourite. It's kind of like a caramel flavour. I've tried their blonde chocolate before. It's so yum. And the Hotel Chocolat Bunnies retail for £6.50 each, whereas these ones are only £2.99 each. So that is everything that I have picked up to include and share with you in today's video. Let me know your thoughts on a multitude of brands within these dupe videos or if you prefer me to just do the white company dupes and then maybe kind of break them up into different videos let me know your thoughts on that because i'm happy to do whatever you guys would prefer i um would love your feedback do give it a thumbs up if you're a fan of the dupes video subscribe for more and i hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys